Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to tell um, something that it was the, uh, the Satmar Rebbe. It was something he said, an insight he had into a particular verse, uh, being Exodus uh, 28.2, uh, where God commands... Uh, the Jewish people to make vestments of sanctity, commands Moses, to make vestments of sanctity for Aaron, your brother, for glory and for sp splendor. Lekavod, Lutiferis. Well, one Friday night, shortly after the Satmar Rebbe uh, arrived in uh, the United States, uh, he spoke to his uh, Hasidim uh, about the significance of wearing uh, their distinct old European um, clothing, the garb, the, the strimal, the fur hat, the bekisha, the silk frock. And um, during he, his talk, um, he uh, cited the Ksaf Sofer's comments uh, regarding this verse, God commanding Moses to make a, a holy vestments for Aaron he explained that during the time of the Second Temple, there were priests, there were Kohanim, who did not quite live up to the standards expected of the priestly class. And uh, they, needed, they needed the special vestments to remind them of their position and the responsibilities that flowed uh, they're from now. There were, of course, Kahanim. There were priests who did meet the, uh, the that standard that they were of moral rectitude. They were, they were completely um, proper. They wore the priestly vestments for the proper reason, for for glory and for splendor. Now, why was the the Satma Rebbe bringing this up? He was concerned with the fact that. Uh, Upon arriving in America, many Hasidim, not just Satmars, but Hasidim, all kinds of Hasidim, um, were no longer dressing in the traditional way, uh, no longer wearing the, uh, the garb of pre-war uh, Europe. Some were even, uh, even shaving off their beards and cutting off their payas. The Satmar Rebbe said, in Satumare, in the town of Satmar in Romania or Hungary, in Hungary, depending on which year it was and when the borders changed, prior to the war, the strimal and the bekesha, the, the fur hat and, the, and the, uh, uh, the silk robe, were for glory and splendor, just like the priestly vestments, for covered and tvers they enhanced a person's Yiddishkeit, his, his Judaism, his, his religious uh, observance. And regardless of what they were wearing, uh, they still continued to be observant Jews. In this country, he said, he's afraid that wearing the traditional garb um, is of a more compelling Nature. It is to remind the Chassid, to remind the Jew of who he is and what God uh, expects of him. It's not simply for glory and splendor. It's to maintain and reinforce um, their religious life and their religious observance. Per, uh, the Satma Rabbi said it protects us from mingling freely with contemporary society. It's an, it is inherent that we look differently so that we will act differently. Um, there are those who felt, perhaps still feel, that the, the Satmar Rebbe was perhaps a little too stringent in his perspective of uh, life uh, in America, his, but his impact on orthodoxy, uh, specifically due to his very strict and stringent views, uh, is unquestionable. A Jew has to distinguish himself or herself in all areas of human endeavor.
both physical and spiritual. We must uh, transcend our environment and remain steadfast in our beliefs and in our observance. The Satma Rebbe's customs, customs that have been part of Jewish life for centuries, influenced and protected generations of Jews and will and continue to influence generations of Jews to come, even though those who didn't uh, agree with them. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, informative, inspirational. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.